what's going on everybody uh, Ooh, it's bright out here I've been a little stressed the last couple days trying to not be um, uh, what do you want to call it uh, oh shoot I can't remember um, depressed or whatever um, so my season started out really really good my season started out really good uh, I booked like the first two weeks I booked like really fast and um, then it just kind of like, it's exploded on me and now I have no work to do uh, like I well that's not true I have work to do but it's not like those first those first uh, couple days, yeah, I was just hammered with work. And now, like, I have a job. I have one job today. Then I have a meeting. Tomorrow, I'm subcontracting for a guy to do some masonry work. Um, but then after that, I don't have anything lined up going into the holiday. So, at least I have two jobs this week. And I'm trying not to be like super um, depressed or whatever you want to call it because, you know, I have work. I have work to do, but I don't have as much as what I want, you know, at least a job a day. So last week I did three quotes. No, I did eight quotes last week. And all of them went with somebody else or they said it was way too much money and they just whatever never got back with me about it so you know that that alone has kind of got me in a funk of you know I did all these quotes and nothing came in so now I'm trying to um, figure out what what's going on you know What's going on with my pricing? How, how did I get all those bookings at the first of the month or at the first of the season to now I ain't got nothing? Nothing that's like groundbreaking or like gonna, gonna put a dent in the income, you know, for the season. So, and I know the season's just started. It's, it's only May. So, you know, we still have six months to go before the season is over so a lot could happen um but this year alone in in our area six new people have started and i talked to quite a bit of the different power washers in our area and um one is booked all the time he's always booked uh the another one is getting out bid like i am you know like We'll go in and quote a 1,500 square foot roof. And then somebody will come in and bid it for half of what it should cost to do. So just trying to figure out the proper the proper way of doing things. Um, so I, I have a meeting today with Responsa Bid to kind of cut down on that travel time. For doing estimating so hopefully people can go on to my website and um and do their own quotes and i have these new business cards to where you just um scan that barcode and it sends you right to my face right to my website so if people want to get you know a faster result if they go to the website um they can do all their own estimating right with response a bid and honestly i hope it cuts down on my travel time and i start booking more jobs because i i just i'm not very good at sales um i i'll go do estimates all day long but like either i'm quoting super too high um or super too low or something i don't know i'm not my bundles were working great at the beginning of the season and now all of a sudden they're just, they're, nothing's happening. So I'm kind of kind of in that kind of funk right this second. Um, trying to stay positive, 
trying to um, weigh out my choices of going on because my buddy that does the masonry work, I can go work for them running my own truck and just do work for them and not have to ever look for work, not ever have to worry about work because they, they always have work. They always can give me some work. Uh, if I want to start traveling more than uh, 30 miles a day or 40 miles a day, I can have all kinds of work. They'll, you know, they, they'll send me to Grand Rapids all the time if that's what I want to do. So I, I just got to, I have to come up with a decision on what to do. Do I keep doing residential or do I go full on commercial masonry cleaning? And that's all I do is masonry cleaning. The problem with masonry cleaning is you're spraying an acid all day long. But I did get, I got this full face respirator for doing roofs, for doing roof cleaning. But this will also work with doing the acid removal stuff or the, the acid spraying for the masonry work. So, uh, not to sound depressed or anything, I got, I got some jobs lined up. Not like what I want. Um, that first two weeks, I was in between four to five thousand, somewhere in there. Uh, sometimes I was hitting that six thousand dollar mark. Um, Twenty two hundred dollar days. Now I'm doing a thousand dollar day, and then tomorrow the masonry work is square footage, forty forty five cents a square foot is what they pay me because they buy all the chemical, they buy everything but gas and my time. So, and they meet me out at every job, drop off all the chems. We talk about the job before we start the job. So I'm really hoping that turns into something really good this week to, to pay me, but he won't pay me until next week, which is understandable. It's a business thing. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, I got a fence clean to go do right now. Fence, I, it's a it's a fence in two garages that I gotta go do right this minute, and then after that, I have to run out to Ravana, and actually it's not Ravana, it's um, Casnovia. It's more in Casnovia. Michigan um, and do some estimating over there and then from there from there I need to get back home for my meeting with Responsibid so all right I'll talk to you guys later have a good day and may the Lord bless your lives see you guys later bye